I was working through the Senior Maths Challenge from 2017 today with a student and I came across this really nice question. There are lots of really nice questions in the Senior Maths Challenge, but I really like this one because it had some nice Maths Challenge ideas. You can learn a lot from it. The question is about this square, which is split into these parts and you've got to work out the area of the yellow part. Have a go at the question, see if you can work it out and then watch my solution. The student I did this with earlier did the end of the question in a slightly different way than I was planning to. So I've shown you both ways. Let me know which way you prefer. By the way, you can try loads more Senior Maths Challenge questions and questions from other challenges in my free online courses if you want to have a look at those later as well. But let's jump into the problem now and go through this one. By Pythagoras theorem we can find the hypotenuse of this lower right triangle, I've called it x here, x squared would be 15 squared plus 20 squared, so x squared would be 225 plus 400, that's 625 and the square root of 625 is 25, so that's the value of the hypotenuse there. We might also have just noticed it's a 3-4-5 triangle, one of the famous Pythagorean triples, because 15 is 3 times 5, 20 is 4 times 5, and 25 is 5 times 5. So it's a 3-4-5 triangle scaled up by a scale factor of 5. And scale factors are going to be important for this question because the next thing we're going to notice is that the two blue triangles are similar. This is something you always want to be looking out for, especially when there are right angles around, because if you've got two right angle triangles, you just need one of the other angles in one of the right angle triangles to be equal to one of the other angles in the other right angle triangle, then the third angles must also be equal and they'll be similar. So here if we call this angle x in the green triangle, then its other angle will be 90 minus x to complete the 180 degrees in the triangle. Then the top angle in the red triangle here will be 90 minus 90 minus x, which is just x, and so the other angle in the red triangle is 90 minus x, and so they have the same angles and so they're similar and the side lengths of similar triangles are in the same ratio, so the red triangle here must also be a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And the 20 would correspond to the 5 here, so the other side lengths would be 12 and 16. So we can work out the area of the green triangle using a half base times height. That gives us a half times 15 times 20 here, which is 150. Similarly in the red triangle, we've got the area being a half times 12 times 16, which is 96. And then the area of the square we started with is 20 times 20, which is 400. And so we can get the yellow area by subtracting 150 and 96 from that 400 to give us 154. And actually the student I was doing this with this today suggested a different way of doing it, which I also thought was quite nice, which is to say, well, we know the hypotenuse of the original triangle was 25, and we know the base of the smaller blue triangle is 12, so we do also know that this length in the yellow area is 13. So we can split the yellow area into two triangles like this, where we know the base and the height of those as well. So we could work them out by addition as well, a half times five times 20 and a half times 13 times 16. That would give us 50 plus 104, which is 154. So we get the area directly by adding those two triangles together. So I think that's a really interesting problem. Let me know which of those two endings you prefer or if you've got another way of doing it. These topics, Pythagoras theorem and similar shapes come up over and over again in math challenges and puzzles like this. One of the standard tricks we use all the time. And that's why I really liked this question because you can learn so much from it whilst also enjoying a good puzzle. I've got loads more problems like this in my online courses and also here on this YouTube channel. So why not take a look at this video and have a go at another interesting puzzle right now.